Let's see if we can get anywhere with Joe Fourier's idea. Let's focus on space first. Rather than trying to do this for space and time, first let's just see, can we make any shape? Any shape, y of x, can we say that's equal to the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of some amplitudes a n sine n pi over Lx. So we're just writing it um, without the time part to see if that can make any sense. Oh, oh, we have our first question. I was wondering where you guys were. I didn't know if y'all were really going to get into the questions or not. Oh, this one fits. Uh, oh, Grove. Grove wants to know, don't Fourier series use both sines and cosines? Oh, yes. And yes, they do use both sines and cosines. Um, to get started, we're going to do a Fourier with just sine. And I'll give the general Fourier series uh, later. Uh, but you can't actually do it with just a sign. So Fourier said, so here is the reason it's a famous, he's famous. And the greenhouse effect as well. But mostly this, is he didn't just say this and give us infinite equations uh, or, or infinite unknowns in one equation. He said, do this to find a specific a n. To find a specific a n, multiply by the nth, nth harmonic and integrate. Joe Fourier says that that will help. All right, so let's write that out and see what that looks like. So both sides, we're going to multiply by the nth harmonic and then integrate. So what does that mean? Well, first let's just write y of x. That's the function that we're trying to describe with a Fourier series. So multiply by the nth harmonic means multiply by sine n pi over l x. Really this is a harmonic, okay? Any of these sine n pi over l x, cosine n pi over l x, those are harmonics. And then integrate means integrate over the domain, right? From zero to l. And if you integrate, you have to have a dx over here, okay? So that's what multiply by the nth harmonic and integrate means. We're describing this y of x, but we're really describing y of x as the shape of a string that's bound at zero and l. So these are the limits or the boundaries of the domain on which you're describing the shape of that function. That's why it shows up here as well in the harmonic. Okay? So if we do that to the left, we also do it to the right. So this side, n, n equals 1 to infinity a n, and this is sine n pi over l x, and now we multiply it by the nth harmonic, sine n pi over l x, and we're going to integrate from 0 to l, so integral from 0 to l, and of course we need a dx. Okay. So Fourier says do that and it'll help. And next is a big thing we have to keep up with in physics. Okay, as you get farther along in physics, you get to derivations and parts of books where you need the same variable, but you use it in two different ways. And that's what we have here. We have two n's here, okay? So n is for the sum. It's the index for this sum. n means we have infinite number of terms here. We number them by n, and we're just going to call that n, okay? Then you need another n. We'll call it n star. It's usually n prime, n whatever, maybe a different letter. Here, n star means the specific nth harmonic. that you multiplied by. Okay. So in this case, this is an n star. We multiplied by the nth harmonic and we integrated. This is just plain old n because we're adding up all infinite terms in this series. This is plain old n because that's in the series. That's the an of the series. 
Uh, that's also n. That's the n of the series. But this is n star. Without that, you could just square those two, right? That'd just be sine squared, m pi x over l. But those are very different things. This one will be in each term, and this n will increase in each term. n equals one term, that's one. Two term, that's two. n equals three term, that's three. But in every term in this series, this is just n star. It's whichever harmonic you want it to be. It's the specific one that you multiplied by on both sides. Okay? So get used to that in physics, that you'll see something with itself and with a prime, the same variable. That means we're using it it's the same thing. It's both a harmonic, but we're using it in two different ways in this case. Okay. So let's see where we can get.